Good morning. How are you? I didn't know, but the last week when you were on, that was your very first radio interview? Yes. Well, you're inf- yes, yes, it was. You're infinitely better than my producer, Woody, who's been on the radio for years, and he's not very good. So you were fantastic. So, uh, Oh, thank no. you. No worries. All right, Carissa. <laughs> um, quickly, before we get started, tell us about TVFanatic.com. Uh, we are a TV site that does reviews, news, slideshows, pretty much anything to do with TV, all written for and by fanatics. And you've got millions of hits, right? Millions of viewers. Readers. Readers. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. readers. Yeah. All right. I've got millions. <laughs> I've got millions of listeners. You have millions of readers. Okay, fair enough. Uh, all right, Chris. Since since last we spoke, good news for my favorite television show on right now. This is us. Yeah, and also voted by TV fanatic readers the best drama on TV. I might add. Mm-hmm. Um, two year renewal, so score. Two more years of This Is Us with 18 episodes each. Still continuing on that, you know, just a little short of a full season in comparison to other shows, but that's exactly how Dan Fogelman wants it, and he is the creator. Um, where did this? News. Wh- wh- where did this guy come from, this Dan Fogelman? Has, has he done anything before this? Uh, you know, more importantly, he's actually done something this same season. And it was Pitch on Fox. Did you watch that? Oh, the baseball, the girl baseball pitcher? Yes. Yeah, I did and not. And you see. say that with a little bit of disdain. Well, I, I was just, I was, conf- I, have, I haven't seen it, so I don't, it sounds a little awkward in that a female pitcher in the major leagues. Well, now, didn't This Is Us sound just a little awkward with a bunch of <laughs> unknown people having birthdays on the same day? <laughs> well, okay, but they, they sort of explained that later in the show that makes more sense. Right. But yeah. they also, surprise, <laughs> explain, you know, a female pitcher. So uh, both of those shows are actually very, very good. And okay. they're still holding out hope for pitch. All right. So you might want to check that out. Actually. All right. Now, uh, in terms of This Is Us, everybody, I was talking to somebody over the weekend about this, and not to give away any uh, surprises, but uh, everybody wants to know how the dad died. They do, and they're not going to find out for a while (laughs) but they are going to find out when okay and that's coming up on tuesday apparently oh on tuesday's episode we're going to see a lot of um flashbacks to the past to the kids birthday parties among other things and also there's going to be a pivotal scene with kate as she starts her bypass surgery process okay and something happens there that makes her think of when Jack died. Got it. And what Dan Fogelman has said is there's a before and after to this family. There's before Jack and after. Mm. Because so that's going to be our first our yeah. first glimpse. I love this because people who are sort of coming to this show now can catch up on Hulu or whatever else, right? They can go and they – because I, I came to – I think I've missed the first oh, eight, nine episodes. And I, over the holidays, I went and watched it, and now I'm caught up just like everybody else. Whereas years ago, if you missed, you know, the first six episodes of Twin Peaks, you looked at everybody else like like they were crazy right. because you couldn't follow the conversation. Right, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's all out there, and it is on Hulu, you're right. Yeah, all right, good. All right, that's uh, This Is Us. Uh, what else came out of the Television Critics As- Association last week? Well, Will and Grace is coming back. Hmm, Will and Grace. I didn't, yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't watch it the first go around. Is anything going to be different? Well, you know what's funny? It's probably nothing's going to be different. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> except for it's going to be a shorter season, 10 okay. episodes only. Right. But after they did that election video, did you see that in September? I did see that, yes. Yeah, well, that's essentially what sparked the revival talks. And... According to NBC chairman Bob Greenblatt, his excitement seems to stem around the fact that everything from gay rights to social and political commentary were all discussed, and as he put it, all disguised as a high-speed train of witty pop culture. And so it's all coming back and to NBC where it belongs. When is it coming back? Next season? Yeah, and, it is. And the and, and, and they all look great, you know, and they, they've kept the same really ripe repartee amongst themselves. So I, I guess this is this is the, um, the the first answer to 
the new presidency. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. Uh, what is what is six on history? Six on history is a new show about SEAL Team Six. Oh, real nice. life missions based upon, you know, the real SEAL team. Oh, okay. What's this? And on? it's on History. History Channel. Yes. And when does that start? It started this past week. Do we like? So there's one one episode to catch up on. Do we like it? I I really enjoyed it. It's um basically trying to humanize seals. You know, they have right those really covert missions that they go on trying to do things like eliminate a Taliban leader. And so you only hear about them in the news and they're very mysterious and you just know they have a lot of mojo. And so what the series is doing is trying to show you exactly how challenging their jobs are, not only in the field, but also at home, because they have this extraordinarily tight family relationship with their co-seals, and they also have it, you know, at home, they're trying to make everything work. And I I thought it was a lot like um, firemen. Yeah, sure. You know, how how firemen have to balance that that work and life and they have the one big moment where they, you know, something like God forbid a, a 9/11 type situation and that's the kind of situations that seals are being called to and then everything just picks them up and takes them away. Got it. And it can be at a moment's notice. Six. So the the filming is kind of jarring. Like one minute they're to Quinceañera and the next minute they're jumping on a plane and heading into the jungle. Got it. Six on history just uh, started on the History Channel. All right, Carissa Pavlika, managing editor of TVFanatic.com. What's the best TV show we're not watching? Uh, I, I have to go right now with Taboo. Taboo on FX is Tom Hardy's latest project with um, co-written with his dad. And you know who Tom Hardy is, right? He was he he was in Batman, right? He he was Bane, yes. Okay, all right. I Which, can... you know, you probably don't think much of Bane as being like the actor or one of the actors of our generation, but whenever you take him out of that ridiculous getup, he actually is one of the actors <laughs> of our generation. All right, fair enough. Uh... And um, it, it, the the acting period pe- you know period pieces seem pretentious sometimes, but really nuanced performances and quick dialogue. And uh, the thing that that I love is that I can't really tell if it's the story itself that seems so interesting or the fact that it's Hardy and his father that came up with it together. Taboo on FX. Uh, How many episodes are we in on that one? Uh, The third one is airing this week. Best TV show on TV. We're not watching Taboo on FX. Uh, Carissa Pavlika, managing editor of TVFanatic.com. Holy mackerel. When are you going to go on TV? You're the best on radio. (laughs) Oh, look at all that butter you're using. There you go. Carissa, have a good week. Thanks for checking in. Thank you. You got it. Bye-bye. 828, Big 550, KTRS. Bowen Dental Care.